hey there everyone Achmin here back again with another video and in this video we are gonna install node.js inside our server and i mean server means inside our computer and do a little more things so let's just go ahead and quickly get started in my screen you can see that we have recently visited section in aws dashboard if we just click on this logo you will see, you will see that we have an ec2 so just click here and it will take us to EC2 dashboard. Remember, we have a dashboard for EC2 as well. So here we can see instances running and we can just click on the instance and click on connect. And just click on connect. It will connect us to the AWS computer and give us a terminal inside the browser. So let's click on the Chrome close i cross icon and just click on control l now 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 what do you want we want to install the node.js definitely how we usually install node.js in our computer we go to like in a, in a general sense we go to the node.js website download the bundler or maybe the exe file or maybe the dmz file and then we just or maybe the pkg file we just uh, double click and click that and next 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 and install you know that sin already right now inside the server since it's a linux computer we have to install node.js uh, using terminal commands don't you worry it's not too much just let me show you quickly first of all we are going to use something called nvm node version manager it's very easy just um let me first okay this is my sidebar i want it for a little more i want to have a little more space that's why i just kept it hidden now let's take a new tab and um, type for nvm from google you can see a link for github and just click on node version manager go inside this link just scroll down a little bit you'll see something called curl just copy that command come back to your ec2 instance just paste that and click on enter it's going to do some magic for us and that's it nvm is installed but we have to do a little more thing just scroll down a little more and you'll see something called export nvm there blah 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 stuff just ignore it in case you know what is nvm and how to install that you know what i'm doing come here and just click paste and voila now if we clear the terminal and just type nvm you can see this until unless you see this nvm is not installed so make sure you follow the same steps and nvm will get installed now we can just say nvm install maybe a specific node.js version for your project such as 14 uh, one second install the space let's control l so we get more space 14.17.0 it will install the this specific version of node.js but we want to install the latest so uh how do we say lattice oh, it's not like that dash dash i guess nvm install is it lts paul lts oh my bad it's dash dash lts okay we got it so we have installed node.js how do we know that let's verify it node dash v okay it's installed let's type npm dash v Hmm. our node.js is up and running so we have installed node.js successfully what does it mean we can install node.js packages it's a normal computer we can create folders we can install node um, node packages we can like we can do everything technically we can create a um, react application now in the next video i'm gonna show you that this is how we create a basic server inside our computer and this is how we access that server uh, from our browser from the postman and that is how the deployment 
what so we are moving step by step step by step and we are understanding few things in each step so let's go ahead and quickly get started with those steps in the later videos